What's up guys, welcome back to Mindset. I took two weeks off, um, uh, maybe a little bit longer, I don't know the exact dates. Uh, when, when you struggle with depression and anxiety, you tend to have times, even, even with a good mindset, that you're gonna have setbacks, you're gonna have things that put you down for a little bit and put you out of the count. You know, you're going to have times that you're upset, times that you're anxious, times that you're worried and afraid of the future, and things that are just overwhelming when you struggle with anxiety and depression. But I've been doing a lot more things in silence and working on clearing my mind. We're gonna talk about a couple small things today, but the main point of today is the focus on clarity. We're gonna talk about four different things about focusing on clarity in your vision. Uh, the first thing is to remember your roots. If you've been following me through my entire vlog journey, about this time last year, I did a very small mini series called Remember Your Roots. And it was about remembering where you came from, remembering where you started, remembering the beginning, and, and remembering where you came from. And I came down here to my high school track and I talked about the start of the series of the Remember Your Roots series about where you came from and how it starts and where it goes. I came down here with my cross country coach, Mr. Ryband, and we talked about my beginning of my fitness journey when I was in high school and I ran cross country and we talked about the setbacks and we talked about my accomplishments. And so that's what we're doing here today. We're coming back to my roots and we're coming to set the tone and the scene for you guys to understand how to focus on your vision. So when you remember your roots, when you remember where you started, it doesn't matter what you do, but remember where you started, where it all began. Do you remember the first time you went out and took a picture? Do you remember the first note you sang? Do you remember the first crowd you stood up in front of or that you performed in front of? Do you remember the hours and hours of practice at the beginning? Do you remember the thoughts of if you're good enough or not? Do you remember the, the negative people and the taking people's opinions into account about what you love? It doesn't matter where you're at along your journey. You could be in that spot right now. This is gonna be for you as well. Not everybody is good and naturally talented when they start, but if you're passionate about something, the hard work and the dedication and the time that goes into it is nothing because what you love is worth it so much more than how that time is going to affect you and all the negative things. But when you sit back, when you're part way through your journey, when you're at the beginning, when you're, when you're succeeding, actually getting somewhere with it, you have to humble yourself and remember where you came from. Remember those people who backed you in the beginning. Remember the people who supported you. Remember the times where you were down and remember the times where it wasn't going anywhere, where you're in a plateau. You have to humble yourself and remember those things to be able to focus and have a clear vision for the rest of your journey. So when things start to get cloudy and things start to go out of focus, sit back and reflect on where you came from and your roots and where you started. That's gonna be the most important one, I think is, like I said, humbling yourself to where you came from and remembering where you start and remembering those down times because those aren't gonna change. You're always gonna have down times. You're gonna have sad times. The second thing we're gonna talk about is getting back up. You're gonna fall down. Life is going to hit you hard, unexpectedly, with the stupidest things that are the most inconvenient things that are gonna hinder you from your journey, but you have to get back up and keep moving forward. You cannot stay down. You have a goal, you have a vision, you have a purpose, you have to get back up and keep moving forward. And like I say, it doesn't matter what the negative situation is, it doesn't matter what it was that knocked you down. There's a positivity to everything, there's a learning curve. There was a purpose for why that came in your life. Some negative things do happen for a reason, but it's not because you're being punished, because you're not doing things right, because you deserve it. It's because you need a change and you need to learn a lesson and learn from something to grow. And you need that circumstance in order to better yourself and to grow. So getting back up after you've been knocked down is another important one. Number three is patience. Everything comes with time. Everything is time sensitive. Everything happens for a reason and a purpose at a specific time. You can't force things into reality. You can't find loopholes for everything. You may have heard someone say, trust the process, trust the timing and trust the plan and just go with it learn, grow, move forward, experience new things, take the downfalls for learning tools and motivate yourself and just keep moving forward. Time is a construct, plain and simple. It's, it's, it's something that just goes and it builds and it grows and it goes on. Can't stop it, you can't move it forward, you can't move it back, but time is a valuable thing, but time is also irrelevant. When you rush 
into your goals and your dreams and you try to force things to happen faster and faster you don't trust the process and you just try to make things happen it's it might turn out but it might not turn out the way you want it might turn out differently it might be better when you trust the process it will be better when you trust the process and you go with the time and and the pattern and the way that things are supposed to go when i say time is still valuable and i say you can't go back in time to change things when i talked about regret that isn't a perfect example because you need to take opportunities you need to take risks and you need to uh, sacrifice things to try new things because you can't go back and do them before and you're just going to regret it now when you follow your gut instinct in your heart which is number four you have to trust in yourself number three number four go hand in hand because when it comes to time you have to trust in yourself whether or not you're ready to go with something you have to trust whether or not you are capable of doing it and when you talk about trusting in yourself there's two different parts of you there's your mind right and then there's your heart People say follow your gut instinct, follow your heart. That's the part you're supposed to listen to because your mind is a logical thinker. Your mind does the logistics and controls your heart, yes. But, but the important thing is, is that fear, anxiety, depression, self-doubt, second thoughts, and anything negative comes from here. That's what your mind creates. Your heart does not create fear. Your heart does not create negative circumstances. Your heart doesn't make you have anxiety or depression. Your mind controls that and your mind feels that. So when you think your think with your mind, that just means you need to think with the process and, and be logical and be thoughtful and purposeful with your intentions. But when you feel and you think with your heart and you and you know what's right for your life, your heart's gonna pull at you for that. I mean, we're, we're all human, we always make mistakes, but 99.9% .9 of the time, if you follow your heart, it's not gonna steer you wrong. Whatever's going with your gut instinct is normally the right thing. But when you, when you have to sit back and you have to decipher whether or not it's your mind or it's your heart that has the thoughts, you have to think with that clarity and that focus and be able to differentiate your mind and your heart's thoughts. Because if you can't do that, they're gonna clash together and you're not gonna go anywhere because you don't know what to believe, you don't know what to do, you're gonna make wrong decisions, you're gonna act on an impulse, you're gonna overreact to things, and you're going to just hinder yourself and be more afraid. Now, when you take chances and risks by things that you know are right, that you know are morally right, or that are gonna be good for your life, um, nine times out of 10, it's never gonna steer you wrong. You're never going to go down a wrong path because you followed your heart. Your dreams come from your heart. Love comes from your heart. Your drive, your motivation, your passions, your joy, everything comes from your heart. When you say my heart is overflowing with joy, you don't say that your mind is. You don't say my mind is so happy. You say my heart is happy. When you say my heart is joyous, it's because all of those good things come from your heart. That's why we portray love and happiness with the heart. It's because that is where it comes from. So guys, when you're going through a downtime, when you're going through a plateau, when you're going through some negative circumstances, when your mind's cloudy and darkened with thoughts and you're trying to get back or even get to a positive mindset, just remember those four things. is one, to remember your roots, remember where you came from. Number two, get back up. Get back up, stand up and fight for what your heart believes in. Number three, give yourself time. Trust the process. Believe in yourself and just keep moving forward because time isn't going to stop for you. Time's not gonna go back for you. Time's not gonna go forward for you and rush it. Time's just gonna go at its own pace and there's nothing you can control about it. So, trust the process. Enjoy what you do now while you're doing it and don't rush things. And the last one is to trust in yourself. Listen to your heart, follow your heart, go for your goals and dreams, chase your happiness, find it and indulge in it. Being happy is nothing to be ashamed of. If you're happy with a certain person, if you're happy doing a certain thing, working a certain job, indulge in it, enjoy it and love it and, and cherish it and keep doing it. If you're doing a job that you hate, if you're with somebody that you do not truly love, if you're in toxic relationships, if, if you are unhappy in your current circumstances, you have the power to make a change and do something different with your life. You have that power to change it, but time is going to get you there. As long as you trust in yourself to make those decisions, take those opportunities, take those risks, 
you're not gonna go wrong because your heart knows what it wants and it will get you there. Because when you trust in yourself, you trust the process, you get back up and you remember where you came from, the clarity, you are gonna come so crystal clear in your vision and masterpiece for your life that it is gonna seem so unreal and so overwhelming that how happy and joyous your life is now compared to where you came from, compared to those down times, compared to those times when you were down, compared to those times when you doubted yourself, when you follow those four things, your life will change significantly. So guys, just remember, no matter what the world has to say, tomorrow is a brand new day. The choice is yours to go out and be more. See you guys.